Hi, I'm Mark Calloway, and today we're going to have a look at Revix backup and autosave features. Uh, spoiler alert, there is no autosave within Revit, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. So first of all, let's take a look at the backup feature within Revit. So within Revit, when you save your project, you go File, you go Save, and it saves a file on your computer. Pretty simple, okay? But just go to Save As, just so that we can get the, the Save dialog box up, because if you just hit Save, it's just going to write over the same file. But if we go to Save As and Project, we can see my project in this folder here. And we can also see that we've got these additional files that are created every time you, you save your project. You might have noticed these. So it's the name of your project, a dot, followed by a series of numbers. And these are the backups of your project. Every time you manually save your project, Revit creates a second save and adds a number on the end. These numbers will keep going up. Um, and the number of these backups that you have within the folder can be controlled and you can get rid of them as well if you don't want all these uh, uh, additional files cluttering up your folder but it's useful to keep this off. So how do we control this? Well again you need to get yourself into the save as dialog box just like what you saw there. In the bottom right hand corner we have a button for options and in here at the top we can see the setting for the maximum number of backups. By default, that's set to free. You can set that to zero. You can set that to, to more, should you wish. And that will update how many of these backup files Revit creates. This is useful if you happen to save your project and your computer glitches and it corrupts the file. You've got the second save. So it goes through the process of saving once and then it goes through the process of saving a second time um, in the same instance. Okay. So... That's a backup, that's not an auto save feature. So you have to manually save your project in order for these backup files to be created. Now, as mentioned, Revit doesn't have an auto save feature. And there's a number of reasons around that, which I won't go into now. But what it does have is an auto save reminder. Okay. So again, if we just go to file, and this time we go to options at the bottom of the file menu, on the general settings, at the top in this notification group, you have this save reminder interval. So although Revit doesn't automatically save in the background for you, Revit can prompt you to save your work. So if you get into a, um, a run with your work and you, you, you just power on all morning and you forget to save, this reminder will remind you to save your work as you go. You could, of course, choose not to save your work should you be in the middle of something you don't want to save at that point, but it, Revit gives you that option. You have a few settings here. 15 minutes is going to be very annoying. 30 minutes is the default setting. An hour might be more sensible. Two and four hours, and at that sort of point, you need to be asking yourself how much work you're willing to lose should you have a power cut, your computer crashes, something like that. Uh, but I would highly recommend that even though you can turn the reminders off, that you don't turn those off. The last thing you want to do is end up all day working on a project, you forget to save, um, you get to the end of the day and your computer crashes and you've lost everything you've done that day. So the long and short of it is there's no autosave feature within Revit. You have to manually save, but Revit can be set up to prompt you. And there is a backup feature that every time you save your project, Revit makes a second copy and can can keep a couple versions um, of those copies going back. Thank you for watching.